You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Mom, why did you allow Debbie quit her job yesterday? She did? You're not aware? Over what? Because the declined car request to take a loan of 20 million naira from the bank. 20 million naira loan? Was the money meant to buy a house? <laughs> Mom, she knows what she wants to do with the money. By the way, is she at home? Huh? Is she at home? Uh, yes. In her room. Just to help sort out a boy, a boyfriend that is not her husband. This is absolutely This girl has gone nuts. Babe, why are you still like this? I need you to know that Chubi loves you. Yes. Yes. He loves me so, so much. Yes. Yes. He loves me so, so much. You're so mad over this guy and I don't know why. Mitchell, what are you saying? Come on. This is the only man I've ever known. My husband to be. Why are you, why are you sounding like this? Why? And you're ready to die for him? Of course. If the case be it, I will. I will die for him. I will. <laughs> I learned to train the towel on your banking job. Of course. I did. Because they refused to give me the loan I asked for. Come on. I did everything. I made sure I got customers, good, good customers for them. I worked and worked and made sure I made so much money for them. Now I needed their help. What did they do? I need them to give me money to help my man. Now they refuse. And you, and you asked me to go back to there? No. You should take their work. I'm not, I'm not doing it again. Debbie. Yes? You are not yet married to Chubi. And you've lost your job. God forbid he dies in prison after the trial. What becomes of you? No, I'm asking you a question. And I need you to answer me. How well do you know Chubi? Do you know where he comes from? His state? Do you, do you know his village? Do you know his family background? Do you even know Chubby's genotype? Debbie, I need you to think. I mean, I need you to be wise. Because I won't talk to you about this again. By the way, where is the engagement car you were given? Huh? Just tell me. You lost your virginity to him. 
and now you're trying to raise a whooping 20 million naira on his behalf. Where is all of this taking you to? I won't talk to you about this again. I beg to leave. Okay. You're the only friend I've ever had. You can't believe me all Believe me, I've heard everything you said. Please don't go. I've heard everything you said. I've heard everything you said. I mean, see me, Joe. I'm, I'm only doing what I know. And what I feel is best. I want you to stay over so that we can talk it through and then you will educate me more. Please, don't leave me. Debbie, I'm still under my parents' roof. I don't have a say of my own. Remember to be loves you. Debbie, please don't leave me. So leave me. Sometimes it is not over. I will do my best to make sure that she be gets a fair judgment. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Okay. You're welcome. Are you sad? Yes, I'm ready. I can see you're still sad. Don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? It's all right. Thank you. <sighs> Mom? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have to go now. That's all right. I mean, we'll see you when we're back. Okay, easy. Bye. Bye. See ya. Alright. If anything comes up, let me know. Good day. Good day. How may we help you? We are family of the accident victim. Mm. The late Mr. Ajayeso Awagba was my dad. Here is my mom, Mrs. Abigail. Good day. <laughs> Again, how do we help you? We've come against all odds to extend our heartfelt condolences to your family. May the soul of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Ma'am, please, we are really sorry for your loss. Please accept our condolences. Compliment accepted but we do not intend having any verbal discussion with you other than lock on in the law court in two days' time. Sir, please. Well, rest that to go. We will discuss this in the law court. Okay? Good day. Sorry. 
To your family, just trust me, it's your family. Don't revenge, forgive, don't revenge, no matter, no matter what. Take it easy, easy. this life is mystery. Yeah. We are all passerby, passerby. Don't allow anger. To limit your future, don't allow anger to destroy all your beautiful, beautiful. Otherwise. Otherwise what? I would have slapped him off that seat. Rachel, can you listen? Can you just listen to yourself? Mitchell? we should be at your mercy and not the other way around. What are you saying? We're supposed to be pleading, looking for a way to go back there and beg them. And you're here saying what I don't understand. Babe, please. We can't go back there and beg for any reason again. I mean, we can find better ways to resolve this. Go, go back there and get humiliated again. Please, let's go. You're outside already. You don't want people to see you like this. Please. Please. You have to pull yourself together. Let's go. This life is mystery. Sometimes it is not over yet. Until oh. it's over. It is not over yet. Not at all. It is over. Sometimes it is not over yet. Until it's over. Until it's over. Sometimes it is not over yet. Until it's over. Sometimes it is not over yet. What is done is that's life. Good to see you. Whoa, what Happy. happens to your car? He just broke down and decided mechanic. So I'm just trekking to my office. I was going to, to your office. office. Then let's get there now. <laughs> Good man. You are doing well. You so that's everything. Hop in, hop in, hop in. So what and what did you say he recovered? I recovered his phone and ATM cards. Jesus! So you recovered his phone and ATM card and you held it to yourself. All this while I will be looking for a way to hire a good lawyer for this case. I intended to submit them at the, as an SB at the police station. Never shut up, you're a criminal! No, 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 no. I wanted to submit them at the police station. You wanted to? But I didn't. So my intention is that... I will give them to him at the proper time. No, there's no proper time here now, my brother. We need to go to your house. You bring out all the items you have with you. No, I will give them to him by myself. Okay, I, 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 will, I, will, I will tear your clothes here. I'm not joking, no. I go run into you like this. Don't play that prank with me. I don't know what that one. Leave hey, me. Hey, Leave hey. you waiting. Hey, stop it. Ubi, stop that. Stop that. Get your hands off him. Now. Bishop, what is it? Sir, I recovered Chubi's phone and ATM cards and I intended to give them to him at the proper time. Where is it? They are in my house. You, what's your argument? Sir, I only suggested that we should return the items to Debbie, Chubi's wife. You know what? Bishop, we sir. are going to your house. Both of you, enter Mike. Now move! Okay, sir. Move! 
both of you, move. taking these luggages to? You are even carrying a shovel. What is going on? What am I living for? What am I living for? Give me one good reason why I'm supposed to be alive. My husband is late. My son is in jail. That so-called chief judge is a devil. That man is wicked. He's heartless. How can he sentence an innocent man to die as imprisonment? We were told that the court is the last hope for a common man. A big girl. Please give me this shovel. Let me let me hold it. You bring it now. You can't be doing this. Uh -uh. You can't be doing this now. Eh? I'm your husband's brother. In case you forgot, why are you doing this? Eh? I can even make it bold to tell you that that verdict of the chief judge was correct. What? Yes. What did you just say? How dare you? You are very stupid. What? You are a wicked man. You are heartless. How can you say his judgment was correct? Of course he was correct. I don't want to hear any word from you again. Leave this place now. Leave this place now. I think you should calm down. I will break your head with this Calm trouble. down, Abigail. Calm down. I said leave this place. I will break your head with this trumpet. Leave this place and break your head. Get man! Stop it! I will blame you! I will blame you! My problem... My problem is that... That eyewitness video clips we watched in court yesterday mm. on how my husband met his death was doctored. Oh. My worry was why the defense lawyer to Chibi Collins appear at such an ungodly hour when we had almost triumphed. Exactly. That is my point. After the chief judge pronounced his jail term on Chibi, who should have Drop the, the, the justice hammer mm. and shout court. Then turn their fears to that suicide defense lawyer who struggled this way into a peaceful judgment. Hmm. You see, the deed is done. The only thing we have to do now is just take away the good things from it. The judge actually gave a technical knockout against your son, Abiyo. Citing is a default as a strength of law. In the Federal Road Safety Act of the use of handsets, where it is prohibited and defined, like using it in the aeroplane, while driving, or while crossing the road, filling stations, gas stations, even in court cities. And what have you? So it's just a normal. Climb is movement, no stigma. You can move to some seas. You can move into disappointment. This life is mystery. Sometimes it is not over. Sometimes it is not over. 
what are you doing? Crying. What for, if I may ask? Mom, you know you're not supposed to be doing this. You know Debbie doesn't have it all together at this moment. You know. We are supposed to be her strength. You shouldn't be doing this, Mom. This is just a trying phase in our lives. And I'm certain it will pass. We are going to testify at the end of the day. So I need you to pull yourself together. Let's look out for Debbie. You shouldn't be doing this, Mom. Please. Thank you. Where is she? In her room. Don't Take it easy. This life is mystery. We are all masabas. So don't allow anger to limit your future. Santa loves not anger to destroy your future. Talk to me. That is that what you really want? How old are you again? Hundred. How old are you? I thought you were excited about the pregnancy. How come you, you, you suddenly want to take your life? Debbie, your so-called should be. I've not paid your price. Stop saying that, Debbie. Listen to me. Listen to me. You need to pull yourself together. I know this hurts, but you're going too far. You really want to take your life because of a man? Come on, baby girl. You want to do this? Baby, listen. Don't forget that Judy loves you so much.
Boyo, where is my mother? Abiodo, how did you get out of the federal prison? Uncle Boyo, my mission is to kidnap everyone of Chubi's family and demand for ransom. Killing Chubi first to start with. And I must avenge my father's death. Nothing stops it. Hmm. If you ask me, I'll tell you to just calm down. Hmm? Calm down, so I can think along with you. There's no time to wait. We have to be on the same page. This way or another. Please. That's why you should give me some time. Give me some time. this movement Life is movement, no stop now. If you wanna wanna leave, no. Don't revenge, forgive. We promised to share our past stories today. Let me start by telling my story. On that day, I left my house upset because my get man got me angry. So while driving down the road, Debbie called me. Who is Debbie now? <laughs> Don't bother about her. Debbie called me, so as I was talking to Debbie on the phone, I knocked down a man who was carelessly crossing the road while I was from calls. It was a horrible experience. I passed out. Only for me to wake up in the hospital tomorrow morning and I was told that the man I knocked down died on the spot. Hey. That was how I landed here. Such a hey. Maybe I should tell you, man, too. Yeah, tell me, what brought you here? This is my 27th year in this prison. During my university years, my friend Tony 